Hey guys, I'm back with another GoPro tips and tricks video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create the GoPro um, GoPro intro using Adobe After Effects. This is the intro they use on all their videos, and it's also the same methods that I use to create my GoPro tips and tricks intro. I'm going to give you guys the basic run through of how you do this and then um, I'll leave it up to you guys to create your own uh, custom intro however you see fit. So the first thing we're going to need is two files. We need the GoPro Hero image and then the logo of um, the GoPro logo. So in this case I'm using the GoPro logo. In my case when I built mine I used text. You can go ahead and import both of these and then we're also going to need the composition layer that we actually build our um, video clip on. So we right click, new composition, and then we just save the settings as 1080 by 18, uh, 1080 by 1920, so it fits a standard HDTV and 29 frames per second. Hit OK there. All right, so that gives us our working space, and then we can just go ahead and drop our image of our GoPro camera onto the there and then we can also drop the GoPro logo. Now the logo is pretty big so we're going to have to shrink this down a little bit. Once we start shrinking if we hit the shift key it will lock the aspect ratio which is nice because that keeps everything square and in line and then we can just go place this here probably a little bit bigger like that and then we can place our GoPro camera beside it we're going to have to shift the layers, so the logo is going to have to be underneath the camera. So we can come down here, click on the GoPro Hero Plus, and drag it on top of the logo. Now you'll notice that the camera is white on a white background, and our background for this is going to be black. So how we're going to change that, we actually have to mask the white part off. This is going to be the most time-consuming part of making this intro, and depending on how well you do this, that will um, basically sh control how professional your intro look. So go up here, grab this sh sh uh, little pen tool, make sure that you have the GoPro Hero 3 selected, and then you can go ahead and zoom in. And then if you put the space bar and click, you can pan around the image. All right, and then you're just going to click and around the outside edge of the camera and mask off the um, whiteness on the outside of the camera. And just like that, we finished masking our camera. We can now just click on the logo and our mask will go away. If there's a couple of white parts around the edge here that you're not happy with, you can go back into the mask and then zoom in again and just drag these points closer to the camera. If you were doing this on a white background, it would not be nearly as important to make this mask nice. Um, so if you are using a white background, that's a little bit of a benefit. You can be a little bit more lazy when you're masking um, things off. All right, so I'm happy with that. Now we can go ahead and place our cameras where we want them when we're finished, and then move our slider to the point where we want our um, clip to end. So I'm going to make this whole slide in uh, intro thing is going to take I think one second. So we'll go down here to frame 30. All right, frame 30. We'll save that there and then we'll come down and click these little drop down menus beside the uh, layers. Then under transform we'll click the uh, the timer beside position on both of them position and remember our slider here is at one second then we'll come back move the slider back to the beginning and then we'll move the camera first so we'll select that layer and then we'll select our move tool or V for the selection tool and drag it again if we push the shift key after moving it it will keep it level move that right into the middle of the frame. Then we'll go ahead and select the GoPro logo layer and move that, again with that shift key selected once we're moving, behind the GoPro. So you can see all I'm worrying about right now is this side of the camera and making sure that that GoPro logo is fully hidden. If you play through the 
animation right now, if you hit the space bar, if you come down here, you can select, if you're not happy with the speed of that, you can select both of the anchor points and drag them closer to the beginning until you get a speed at which you're happy. I'm thinking mine might actually be more around the range of about uh, 10 frames here. So I'm kind of liking this speed a little bit better. All right, then we still have a problem because this GoPro layer is, the GoPro logo is still showing up behind the camera. We can fix that though by coming up into edit, uh, sorry, we can fix that though by coming up into layer, new, solid. And then we'll get a thing here. We're gonna make a black solid with the same dimensions as our clip. Click OK, that will go in at the top, but we need that on top of the GoPro layer. So we'll drag that down there. And then we're gonna to have to align it. So we're gonna drag the selection tool. We're just gonna drag it back until it's in line with the edge of our camera. So the edge of this layer is right here. And then we're gonna use this um, little uh, swirl here, click on this, and then drag it up to the GoPro uh, Hero icon. And what that does is it links the animation of this layer to the animation of this layer. So it basically just pins this layer to do exactly what this GoPro layer is doing. Now if we play through, we can see that that back layer actually slides with the GoPro logo making it, or with the, sorry, with the GoPro camera making it hide the logo. So there's our animation. The last thing to do is to enable motion blur. This will make it look far more smoother and pleasing to the eye than um, the jerky movement we're getting right now. So to do that, you click this little motion blur icon here, which is right there, and there and there, and you can enable that for all of the layers. Then when you play it through, you get a lot smoother playback. So once we're happy with how our playback looks, we can go ahead and actually select how much of our playback or our little animation here we want to export. And then it's time to export it so that it's in a usable video file that we can use in our edits. Right now it's in an After Effects um, composition, which is really unusable by anything other than After Effects. So we're going to have to come and select how much of our video clip or our little animation we want to export. And that's done using this render um, time ruler here. So what we're going to do is come down to the end of it. Right now it's set at 30 seconds, which I really don't need that much of it. I'm thinking of any of about two seconds. So I'm going to come down and drag that down until it gets to two seconds. I can just zoom in and make sure it's right at two seconds. So now when I export this or render this, it's only going to render that first two seconds of the video clip. So I'm going to go from here, and things going to slide out, and it's going to sit there for two seconds. So then it's time to actually render it. We sell File, Export, Add to Render Queue. If you want to use a media encoder, you can, but for something this short, really the render queue will be just fine. And then you see Render Quality, Best Settings, Output Mode Lossless. You can select the file where you want to export it to and then name it. Click Save. If you want to edit any of the output uh, settings, you can click Render Settings, and it will give you all of the different output settings. For now, it's out outputting a AVI, basically just a raw AVI file, which is just fine. The file size will be big, but it's two seconds of video, so that really doesn't matter that much. And then when you're all set, you just hit Render, and it will sit there and render it through. Depending on the speed of your computer, this could take some time. It'll ding when it's done, and then you can go ahead and open the file that you saved it to and play back your video. And just like that, we've created a very professional looking GoPro intro, and we can customize it however we want. If you guys would like, I'm going to post uh, both my project, a, my GoPro project file, uh, so this After Effects project file, as well as the two logos and my final video clip. I'll post all that in a file and it will be linked in the video description. So if you wanna go ahead and download those and then have that as a working place to start, you are more than welcome to do that. You can use this however you want, 
but that I will I will post that and you guys can at least kind of have a baseline of um, something to start working with. Until next time guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'm really interested in what you think of me doing video editing tips like this. If you've enjoyed them and you would like to see more, make sure you comment and let me know. If you guys are not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe. It means a lot and it really helps me to continue bringing you content like this to have people subscribed.